Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and if you've already seen our review, you'll know the Google Pixel is the best reason ever to switch from iPhone to Android. And now, thanks to some new setup tricks, it's easier than ever to actually take your contacts, messages, calendar, and media with you if you do switch. Now when you first power on the Pixel, you'll need to put in your SIM. Then you choose to copy data from a previous device on the next screen. Before you do actually copy data though, the setup screen will require that you sign into a Wi-Fi network. And once you've done that, you plug your iPhone lightning cable into one end of the little adapter that comes in the Pixel retail box, then plug the other end into your Pixel phone. Before any data can be transferred, you do need to unlock your phone and tell it to trust your Pixel. You do this by tapping the trust button on the pop-up that appears. Once that's done, it'll be connected. Now as soon as they're connected, you sign into your Google account. If you have two-step verification set up, you'll need to go through those steps as usual. If you don't have a Google account, you can set one of those up there too. Once you hit the next button, the Pixel searches the iPhone for all the data that it can transfer. It takes a few minutes and you'll see a spinning sync icon in the status bar on your iPhone. As soon as you've gone through that process, you'll get a list of all the items you can copy from your iPhone, and you can select which ones you want. They include contacts, calendars, messages, attachments, pictures, video, and music stored locally on the phone. Once you confirm what you want to copy, it can transfer everything in the background while you set up the rest of your phone's settings. So you can register your fingerprints and set up the security lock pattern for your lock screen, and wait a few more minutes as all the information and media is copied across. You'll get a final screen telling you what has been copied and then you can go to your home screen. Then when you check your calendar, messages and contacts, you should find everything as it was on your iPhone. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. I'll see you again soon.